All right, class. Good afternoon. Uh, we're going to do the pH meter titration lab. Okay. Now, what we got over here is that this is in three parts. The first part, we're going to titrate and turn turns pink. Second part, we're going to determine the uh, Ka by playing a trick such that what we do is we put the pH meter in, pH meter in there. We put half of what we used to do. In that case, it's half neutralized. In that case, what happens is the acid and the conjugate base are same concentration. In that case, pKa equal pH. Okay, so therefore, do not expect the second one to turn pink, okay? If it turns pink, we got problems. And then part C, the third one, it'll take a two-person job. One person call how much to put in. Second person uh, go and uh, dispense. And then the first person call the pH, okay? Now what you got over here is that the setup consists of this. On one side, we got a waste container. We got a funnel for dispensing the sodium hydroxide. And now uh, we have also, I forgot the flask, there it is. This is sodium hydroxide with a green cap. Okay, that's the sodium hydroxide. Now the titrated unit has a stirring unit, a 250 milliliter beaker, a stir bar, a burette, burette clamp. There's a, there's a clamp here for holding the pH. And then over here, this is for the hydrochloric, uh, the uh, acetic acid. We got a 10 milliliter volumetric pipette, a pipette pump, and this 100 milliliter beaker for get about 60 milliliter of uh, acetic acid max, okay? And then we have also a lab quest with a pH meter, okay? And that's the setup for this particular lab. All right, class, I'm going to do part A with that setup, okay? So what I'm going to do is I want to get 10 milliliter of acetic acid into the beaker, put two, drop, two to four drops of indicator phenolphthalein in there, and then we're going to put the stirring of the stir bar in there, turn it on, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to titrate by adding acid until it turns pink, okay? So that takes it halfway up the uh, pH uh, curve, okay? So here we go. First thing, drop the uh, stirring bar unit in there first, okay? Do that first, that way we don't get a splatter, okay? Second thing, what you do is that pump up. So, you know, this is for drawing the liquid up. This is for dispensing, this is for purging. Now, I've already rinsed it, okay? So therefore, what you do is that draw the acetic acid. Hey, you guys, be careful with this one, because even though it's a weak acid, if you touch the tip to your arm, it's gonna get blister. How did I know that? Done that. Okay, so here we go. So, there, dispense. Oh, the thing is clogged. Well, let's see. Just give it some patience. There it goes. There, there is a 10 milliliter. Now what you do is touch the tip to the beaker, okay. Now that we've got the acetic acid in there, make sure you put the indicator in there. So what did I say? Two, right? One, two, three. Uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 it's okay. As long as you don't get half a bottle in it, we're good. Okay, now what you then do is to turn on the stirring, the, the, the left knob, okay? The left knob, not the right knob. You don't want to heat it up. So in that case, all right, let's, oop, oop, I turned the wrong one. Excuse me, I, I got the wrong thing. Right knob, not the left knob, right knob. Okay, so here we go. Oh, yeah, of course. Plug it in. It's an idiot. Plug it in. Okay, there we go. Okay, now that it's uh, now the stirring. Okay, now you don't want to go a little bit too. You don't want to go too fast, okay? Because you don't want it splattering. Now what you then do is this. We have the fun, okay? So what you do is I take the initial reading. Okay, my hands. Uh, where is my hand? There it is. It's well up here. Take the initial reading. And what you do is add until it turns pink. Okay, so here we go. Now what you do is this. You want to see a pink jet with a plume, and then you can start doing the quick 180s. Okay, so see? You see that? Whoa, that's a little bit close. Here we go. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, now what you do is you want to see a pink jet with a plume, and then you can start doing the quick 180s. Okay, so see? You see that? Whoa, 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 so therefore, what you then do is I like, go take the final reading, and we're done for part A. And of course, shut the guy up. Done with part A. That was simple, huh?
All right, class. We've done the part A, okay? And it turns out that when, after I finish reading from the final, initial and final, I'd about say 12.4 milliliters. Okay, so therefore that what tells me is that this time around I'm gonna add half of that, okay? So here we go again. Now the thing is that between the uh, part A and part B, you gotta pour it out, clean it out, you gotta dry out the beaker too, okay? So it's concentration sensitive. So here we go, I drew up a 10 milliliter of uh, acetic acid. I'm gonna dispense again. So I'm pushing the button, I'm dispensing. And here we go. Got the last drop in there. Now remember, put an indicator in there, but this time it's not supposed to change color, okay? So, one, two, three, good, okay. Now what you do is this. Here's the pH meter right here. Uh, where are we? Here's the pH meter. Now what we're gonna do is that you need to take it out of the bottle. You need to take it out of the bottle, okay? Otherwise, what happens? Some of you guys go, "Oh, it's still doing it." Yeah, take it out of the bottle. So take it out of the bottle, okay? And what you want to do is to go and clamp it here with the with the beaker. Want to hold it there? And you want, okay. Now, what you're gonna do is this. Turn it on, and you'll see a pH reading, yeah? So what you do is this. It's very important that you turn it on. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Okay, it's going crazy. Now, if it goes crazy, turn it off. Because what happens is I got the thing off-centered. There we go, let's try it again. Okay, there we go. Let's hopefully it didn't go crazy. Okay, now what we're gonna do is this. Here's the initial reading. Now, last time, I put a certain amount, I'm gonna put half the amount, okay? Oh, God, okay, let's try it again. It's hit, it's, it's whacking the pH meter. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's running smooth. So, in that case, here we go. We're gonna start adding. So, take the initial reading, gonna target half as much, okay? So, in that case, here we go. Okay, there you go. See, you notice that it turns pink kind of, but then it does not. Okay, so we got half of it in there. Now what you then do is this. Now that you got half of it in there, now the acid and the conjugate base of same concentration, pH equal pKa, okay? In that case, all you then do is that, go read the pH meter, and yes, indeed, it's about 4.72. Okay, very good, in that case, Experiment over. That was simple, right? Now the thing is this, notice that it didn't turn pink. It's not supposed to because the indicator would trigger for about 7.8, okay? Very good then. We're done. Okay, maximize it. All right, folks, here we go. We just did get A, B, and now we're gonna do C. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I did was I filled the beer in and make sure this time you wanted 0.00, because otherwise you have to subtract a number, that'll be a pain. So in that case, here we go. Draw the, six, uh, draw the 10 milliliters of acid with the pipette, okay, into the beaker. Oh, this one we got a good pump. Okay, same thing, the same setup as part B, okay? Just at this time, you'll go all the way. Do not stop titrating after it turns pink, because if that, if you stop, you only got the bottom part of the S, okay? So, here we go. There's that. There's the acid. All right, next thing. Oh, forgot. Better put the uh, burette here. And then, what else do I need? Make sure you put, you, put, you don't forget to put the indicator in, okay? That's a common mistake. So here we go, one, two, three, good. Okay, here we go, turn it on. All right, so in that case, oh God. okay, here we go, we got it. Okay, so we got the pH meter, and I'll be reading it as we go along, okay? So, here we go, Dr. Sumter. 0.5 mil. All right, here we go. Done. 2.91, all right. One milliliter. Okay, 
2.95 mil. Two point nine seven. Two mil. Okay, hold on. There we go. Three point one zero. Two point five mil. Okay. That. Why? Three point eight two. Three milliliters. Okay, 4.18. 3.5 milliliters. Five point one two. Four milliliters. Five point two five. Four point five milliliters. Five point. Three one five milliliters. Okay, six point one two five point five milliliters. Seven point one uh, five six milliliters. Six point three two. Six point five milliliters. Uh oh, we're getting close. All right, we're gonna continue. Keep going. Seven milliliters. Okay. Oh, we're getting close. Seven point five. Oh, the pH meter is going crazy. Keep going then. Call. Eight, eight milliliters. All right, you notice it turned pink. We're gonna keep going. Go. 8.5. Okay. 9. Uh, okay. 9.5. Alright. 10. 10.5. Dr. Rochelle is, re uh, is reading the pH right now. <laughs> 11. Okay. Okay. 11.5. Oh, okay, now I can relax. Oh. 11. 11.5. 11.2. 11 point, uh, woo, 11 point 8. 12. 12 point 3. And one more. 12 point 4. 12 point 8. Okay, I'm done. Now, our class. The thing is this, it's uh, it gets really, really stressful when you get to the end point. It goes vertical. Now the thing is that we'll be providing you the data. The number I called out will kind of simulate it, okay? All right, very good, wrap up.